All right, I got this uh, 1993 Ford F-250 with the 7.3 indirect injection, so it's all mechanical, and uh, it has the bank system on it. Uh, it has a pyrometer, but it doesn't have a boost gauge, so I have no way of knowing if the pump was turned up or not, or you know what it what is it doing. I just don't really know. And you can see Banks already plumbed it. Somebody had just had a plug in there, but it's plumbed for the uh, 1 8 national pipe thread. And uh, so rather than order the boost gauge and everything from Banks, which they work great, um, but I just don't want to go through ordering it or paying for it, really. I bought a whole bunch of them recently for both of those, and it's like, yeah. So if you want to do something real cheap, um, just go get an ATV gauge. They go to about the right, right pressure. I mean, that's the biggest thing. This thing should be, you know, around 10, 10, 12, uh, is about what you're going to get out of these systems at the most, really. So this thing goes up to 15. Perfect. You know, if you were running something that went up to 50, obviously you kind of want to get a different gauge, but these ATV gauges are pretty cheap. I just unscrewed everything, put an elbow, uh, spun and tapped a little plug, just, you know, on the fly and I uh, got this little fitting for just for hardline well I shouldn't say hardline hard plastic uh, you can get them for copper tubing or you can also get you know steel ones just depends on what you have around just gonna thread this in hook this up and put this on and you know stick it next to the parameter and you know really just put it wherever just so I can get a good idea of what's going on with this thing. So anyways, like I said, if you want to do a boost gauge cheaply, this is one way to go. It doesn't have a light in it or anything, but I mean, you're talking like 30 bucks, somewhere around in there to get all the stuff and put it in versus, you know, over a hundred and then also waiting. So anyways, just, you know, if you're on a budget, hopefully this helps and you can just, if you want to know what your uh, pressure is, this will help you out.